two, one, engines full power, and lift off. Go Falcon, go IMAP, go Swifo L1. A SpaceX rocket launched from Florida today with an important mission to better understand solar systems, which can cause cell phone outages and other disruptions here on Earth. So the task will be up to these three satellites aboard that rocket. And our Brian Hackney is keeping an eye on the story, and so is one student from Foothill College. So just close one eye, keep the other eye open, and take a look down. The filter makes it perfectly safe. The sun can be exciting to watch. Oh. Wow. Student Andrea Zabala couldn't quite believe her eyes. It's not the sun, is it? It, it is the sun, it right? That, that, it is? That's the oh. o <laughs> that is the only thing bright enough to get through this filter, is the sun itself. It's all part of the fun yeah. for Jeffrey Matthews. Oh my God. Getting pointed right at the sun. He's professor of astronomy at Foothill College. Voila. Looks like we've got a bunch of small sunspots. One that's maybe about twice the size of Earth. The focus is on sunspots hotbeds of magnetic activity. That same magnetic activity can trigger um, solar flares or coronal mass ejections, where it's basically like the sun can launch these giant balls of superheated gas off into space. And when the flares are really huge, the disruptions would be epic. So so sobering. How about, how, let's go with sobering. <laughs> this morning, six million people across Quebec woke up to darkness and disbelief. Big flares have shut down massive power grids, debilitated GPS, and once threatened an accidental nuclear war with Russia, all because of unpredictable behavior from the sun. So we're going to be ever vigilant for the next several years for these really large explosive storms coming off the sun. And lift off, go Falcon, go IMAP. Much of that Lipo vigilance L1 lifted off from Lipo the Kennedy Lipo. Space Center on a Falcon 9 rocket Wednesday morning, carrying three satellites that will measure Lipo. every aspect of the sun. And you must be excited. Are you excited about this launch? Oh, exceptionally excited. We are flying three new missions on a million mile journey to track space weather. Clinton Wallace heads up the Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder, Colorado, where they monitor the sun for threatening activity. What is the satellite going to allow us to do that will help us mitigate some of those threats? And it's gonna allow us to, uh, at Space Weather Prediction Center to provide more timely and earlier warnings so that the, the power grid operators, they can take the protective measures or for airlines to reroute aircraft as they're flying across the globe. Here go for 119-1. One more thing. Thank you. Astronauts will be on their way to the moon next year. And they're going to be in that harsh environment of space. So if we're able to provide them with early accurate information, they're able to inform the astronauts to take shelter within the spacecraft so we can protect the health of our astronauts. Every solar cycle, the dice are being rolled for us. When it happens, right? It's not a question of if, it is just a question of when. Scientists at UC Berkeley are also involved. They'll be monitoring one of the three satellites that were blasted into space today.